and if I go ahead and check over here as you can see A, C, D and E perfect but I still don't know which one is what so I'll go ahead and uh, let you know as to how we can go ahead and do that later on so and uh, I'll like to teach you one more thing let me check if I have some sample music perfect so I'll just go ahead and copy and I'll just go ahead and let's say paste it over here on the desktop and uh, since I'm on desktop let's see if I have I have the Kalimba mp3 over here so let's say for example if I want to go ahead and start that I can just go ahead and type start Kalimba period mp3 and as soon as I go ahead and hit enter you should be able to listen this specific mp3 right now let me check okay yeah recommended settings finish yeah so as you can see that I have this music running on over here okay so this is just an example as to how we can go ahead and delete uh, do that after that if I want to go ahead and open a directory with a space uh, you may know that I'll just go ahead and rename it oh, I, I'll do one thing I'll just go ahead and rename it from over here rename user and I'll name it to let's say I'll do one more example wait I have another idea to user space test I'll just run type and if I want to go ahead and delete this directory so I cannot just type rmdir user space test it won't be removed uh, the reason being that uh, there is a space in between so it won't be able to go ahead and detect that automatically so in order for us to go ahead and do that I'll have to go ahead and uh, type something like uh, let's say for example rmdir and let's say I don't know exactly how it works let me see user test the syntax of the command is incorrect so I'll just go ahead and let me check okay syntax user test okay so it's unable to go ahead and detect that as I told you so you won't be able to go ahead and directly uh, edit any of these files until unless you have that specific uh, I, uh, name and so and if you want to go ahead and uh, with all the tasks that is running inside so you can just go ahead and type let me check the task list uh, as you can see these are all the things that are running on the computer right now you may even be able to find uh, payload if I have not like okay, you know these are the processes um, the, the payload is another task if I want to kill any random task let's say for example which one okay mm, I have my payload over here I don't want to disconnect that I have the command.exe so if I want to go down no I won't want to close the command let me check if I have something else okay I'll just go down and run this I'll pause it and I want to go down and close this uh, so uh, again I'll go and type task list and uh, you can see we have WM player over here and I want to go ahead and kill that specific task so the PID for it would be 752 so I will have to type T-A-S-K-K-I-L-L space slash PID and the PID number so here it is 752 and uh, so send terminal uh, nation signal to the process and let's check if it's closed perfect it's closed so that is one option of doing that and I can also go ahead and check all the outgoing connections or all the active connections for that I can just type netstat and netstat it's a very famous command so if you have any networking background you may already know what that is exactly so as you can see I have all the outgoing uh, addresses over here and this is also this is uh, my own IP address and if you're actually going to try and hack into something then you would not want to go ahead and any other person to go ahead and look into this because that person is directly looking at your IP address and he may be able to trace it back to you that is the reason but these are just the things that I would like to uh, teach you and um, if you want to st uh, again view all these services then you can just type net start and as you can see the here are all the services that are running and they are in full unlike the previous one where I had only uh, the exact file name that were running over here I have all the services that are running exactly and along with their name and what it does exactly so and let's say for example if you want to go ahead and read a text file then I'll just go ahead and create a text file over here let's say no not I'll just include that Create a simple text file. Let me test one and I'll type this is an 
awesome text file now save it and if I want to go ahead and read the contents over here I can type C A T and uh, arrow and okay let what was the name I uh, okay the name was text one so in that C A T and I can type T E S T one period T X T and okay but I believe cat was the right one Okay, uh, A B C Peter T X T. Okay, let me check what we have over here. It was cat or uh, let me check. Okay, Cals uh, clears the screen. C M D color com copy date okay delete okay it was cat previously or it is right now i cannot see no reason why it is not supposed to work but anyway if you need to go ahead and gather information then you can just go ahead and type these things and you will be able to normally go ahead and view that i will go ahead and check why it is not working and I'll get back to you so, and just one last thing just in case if you're trying to kill any task and you're unable to kill that uh, the one page which I showed you previously uh, such as T-A-S-K-K-I-L-L and slash P-I-D and over here the period ID number if you even by doing this you're unable to go ahead and kill that specific task then you can go ahead and type something like uh, slash F space slash and you can type P-I-D in capital and the PID number whichever you want to this will go ahead and forcefully kill that task so that's it guys that's it for this tutorial in the next tutorial I'll be teaching you more about the meter operator commands and how they work exactly